Hello guys, and now I'm showing you um, how to use the Qt Game Enabler QML Audio Plugin um, for my mobile um, <coughs> uh, Zombie and app um, created with Qt Creator. First, um, we create a new project file, new file or project. Qt Quick Project. Use quick application choose. Now give a name to the project for the project and I choose sound test one. Next. Cute quick components for Symbion. Next, Symbion device, cute simulator. Next, enable network. Yes, yes, yes. Finish. <coughs> now we have um, our standard app. Yeah. Um, what we need is the plugin. Now we look for the cute game enabler plugin. So, well. Simply the URL uh, projects.developer.nokia.com slash cute game enabler and download the uh, cute game enabler volume 2 1 zip. Um, let's choose open it. We only need uh, one folder. Yes, Cute Game Enabler. Okay, now we open our Cute SDK projects and now Sound Test 1 and drag and drop it to the project folder. <coughs> So, now we open the profile and add one new line. So. Include Cute Game Enabler. Cute Game Enabler. Here's the folder. And then we call the Cute Game Enabler audio plugin dot p R I here. That file is called. Um, therefore, we save all. And now here, uh, two new um, folders was imported. Um, now we. Need to open the main CPP and add a new include. Include audio plugin H, which is anywhere, and this um, plugin, and we need to. Uh, register a new <coughs> uh, register the GE audio. So, um, and maybe uh, set up the direction of the app landscape. So my app is only viewed at landscape. Um, so now we need uh, resources for our audio files. So therefore, we click with the right mouse button on the project name. Um, add new. Um, cute, cute resource file. Choose. 
Mm, I call it resources. Click OK. Click finish. Yeah, and um, watch here. Please set up your uh, project file name. Finish. Now we have a resources.qrc. Now click at add, add prefix. And now delete all, but at least left one symbol here. Okay, now we click add again, add files. And now we had to uh <coughs> look at our audio file. I have audio file here. So my project's path is here. I create a new folder called audio and I copy the click dot w a v file. Um, I think you can uh, choose w a v files or o g g, but mp three I don't know. Okay, um, I choose audio now. Click that wave. So therefore here now file save all so our project is now um, contains now a main QML and main page QML that means main QML um, called main page main page is the content from from the main app main QML um, says um, yeah, that uh, toolbar is in the top and uh, on the bottom of the app. <coughs> so now we're going to main page QML and call the plugin. We in the main CPP we set GE audio and therefore we import the GE audio 1.0. So, once again, file save all. So, um, now we go into the design mode. So, choose an another size. Is that <laughs> okay? Now to look like a um, little nicer, I try to drop a rectangle. Um, say layout, fill, and choose a dark red color. Now. Um, Choose a button. So button layout size. So now we have a button. If we push the button, uh, we will hear the sound, and that we had to implement. Edit button ID button one. So we add on pressed uh, on clicked, sorry. Then oh. so on clicked. Um sorry. We had uh, before we call the on click event we need to import the audio mixer and audio buffer, which is a component of G Audio 1.0 into our product 
project. <coughs> I will show you import for testing. Um, cut out audio mixer and audio buffer as red underlined. Import paste. Import geo audio. Audio mixer and audio buffer is accepted. So um, my audio mixer is a mixer which can contain more audio buffer elements. Audio mixer is the main component. It's called my mixer. It has a own volume. One to zero is the highest. Audio buffer is one element which contains the audio file um, which is in the resources.qrc. Uh, the audio buffer had his own volume 2. 1.0 is the highest. Um, you can um, yeah, push the volume higher to 2.0 or anything else. Yeah. Absolute volume 2, you can push it higher too. But um, it's, it's, it's a terrible sound. Um, yeah. Now we can say if our button one is unclicked, um, our click audio buffer dot play. Yeah. And so if our button in the middle is pressed or clicked, yeah, uh, we get a sound. For example, you can copy that sound, that audio buffer, uh, unique ID 2. And so every now safe. So, and now we so sorry guys, but um, at least I have uh, forgot one thing. Here in the main CPP file, um, you had to write in lowercase using namespace um, GE in uppercase semicolon. Now save all, and now uh, you can run the app. But um, start on your mobile phone uh, public coder before. Good luck. And now here's our little test app. Now I click on button and the sound appears. If I click again and again, 